What is going on you guys, it's Andrew back with another video and today I'm going to be answering one of the most common questions I've gotten on my most popular videos. Those videos in particular are ones where I am reviewing sneaker cleaning products, uh, in particular Angelus Direct, um, Jason Mark, FZ150, uh, which I got a lot of flack for that one, but then again, I don't really care. Uh, one of my most common questions is about a sneaker cleaner that I reference in those videos a lot, and that is Rejuvenator. So today I've decided I'm going to stop talking about Rejuvenator and actually show everybody why this is one of those sneaker products that I absolutely love and have been using for almost a decade now. For clarification, this is not a sponsored video. I would love for Rejuvenator to send me free product, but that's probably not going to happen. Uh, so I figured I'd just demonstrate why it is uh, the one that I use so frequently. It's been a while since I've bought Rejuvenator. Uh, a couple years ago, I bought a bunch of it on sale and uh, I kind of ran out. So I decided let's go and pick up the most common kit that you can get on Amazon, which is the Essential Shoe Cleaning Kit. It comes in this nice modern packaging, which is different from their previous packagings. Um, just to show you how long it's been since I've actually bought the product. Now in this box you get a couple of items and that includes a four ounce bottle of their sneaker cleaning solution. This is something that I recommend using with uh, water so you got to dilute it, uh, pour a few squirts of the solution into a little bowl of water and that is um, how you would properly use it because you don't want to use this directly on material. It's a bit of a concentrated solution. It is safe to do so but you don't want to go through too much of it too quickly and diluting it in water is going to do just fine. You also get three of their brushes. Now you can identify these three brushes based on the color of the bristles which is nice. Since I last bought brushes from them they changed the color of the medium and stiff bristle brushes so they're not the same color. It makes it a little bit easier to identify what you're grabbing when you're cleaning a shoe. On the back of each of these brushes they do include the type of bristles that are on there so the stiff medium and of course the soft bristle brush right there and they also threw in this little terry towel that is rejuvenator branded i really appreciate that it's really helpful when you're cleaning sneakers to have a towel that's dedicated to sneaker cleaning because the towel will get filthy really quickly if you've seen my amazon sneaker cleaning product options video uh, you would have seen the angelus direct sneaker cleaner did come with a towel as well just a regular terry towel it's a nice addition you don't always have to have one but it is helpful now like i mentioned i got a lot of flack for one of my sneaker cleaning videos particularly from people who don't understand how sneaker cleaning works and from people who said that the shoes were not dirty enough to merit a sneaker cleaning. I don't know about you, but I don't like having dirty sneakers. So if they're a little dirty, I want to clean them. And that's how I test out product. But if you really want to know, I decided let's get an actually dirty sneaker for this video. For this sneaker cleaning demonstration, I decided to use my New Balance golf cleats that I've been using for the last year pretty consecutively. I have not cleaned these yet, so they are caked on with a bunch of dirt and debris on the bottoms. If you have a shoe this dirty, the first thing I recommend you doing is exactly what you're seeing. Take a pick or a metal tool or some kind and try to pick out as much of that loose dirt as you possibly can. If you try to hit this with a sneaker cleaning solution and a brush and you have this much caked on dirt, you're just going to make a bunch of mud. We're going to start out with the stiff bristle brush and some sneaker cleaning solution to hit those outsoles right away. That's usually the first step I take in order to tackle the dirtiest part of the shoe. Like I mentioned earlier, just a few squirts of that solution is all you need in a bowl of water. Anything more than that and you're just going to be wasting solution. At this step, don't be afraid to be aggressive with the brushing with that stiff bristle brush. You're going to want to be aggressive with the outsoles, especially if they're as dirty as that. Now once I've tackled the outsoles, I'll hit the uppers with a soft bristle brush and the midsoles with a medium bristle brush. At this point, you're going to want to change out the water and the solution in the bowl so you're not uh, cross-contaminating it with the dirt and debris from the outsoles of the shoe. A shoe tree is recommended and removing the laces is recommended if the shoe is as dirty as this. You don't always have to do that, but it is recommended if you want to get a thorough deep clean. The soft bristle brush is going to be nice for the uppers, especially if they have more uh, fragile material. In this case, it's not that necessary, but it does a good job of lathering up the uppers. What I also like to do with the laces, especially if they're as dirty as these, is I will add them to a water bottle with a little bit of solution, shake up the water bottle and let them sit for a bit, and then let them air dry overnight alongside the shoes. Usually I like to go back over the shoes and re-clean some spots I might have missed the first time around. And of course I did clean the other shoe. This was just done as a side-by-side -side comparison. But you could clearly see a good before and after with the dirty shoe and the clean one, and that's just the power of Rejuvenator.
Anyway guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. If you enjoyed this review of Rejuvenator's product, please leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. Comment down below if you've ever used Rejuvenator or if this is something that may have answered a couple of questions for you. For now, I just look forward to making the next video. And in the meantime, this is Andrew signing off. Peace.